the communal forces had an entry into West Bengal uh, because of the present chief minister earlier had gone with BJP and brought BJP to West Bengal and uh, she not only brought BJP to West Bengal but she herself visited the RSS uh, Mouthpiece Panchajan headquarter at Delhi where she was given ovation and she had given a certificate to RSS as patriotic forces and twice she had been with BJP in the center in the India government as minister and uh, uh, now that after the new government led by her Trinamool Congress came to office in West Bengal, she has taken a volta pesi, a apparently changed her stand and taken a position against BJP. But it's a mutual understanding, a tacit understanding between BJP and the Trinamool Congress in Bengal that has fueled each other to grow. Well, BJP has been talking about the Hindutva along with the corporate agenda. The TMC has taken uh, the side of the forces like the jamaat e mujahid in Bangladesh who got protection in a regime in Ward 1. And uh, all of us know that uh, this is a force which uh, uh, was responsible for 500 blasts in Bangladesh one day, in a day, in 300 places. And these forces were located in Khagragod in Bardwan district in West Bengal. In a office of Trinamool Congress upstairs, Downstairs was Trinamool Congress office with uh, a flex of Chief Minister and all that. And the upstairs it was the blast that happened in that Kagragor. And subsequently, the superintendent of police said that it's a minor blast. They have taken a lot of issues, taken up a lot of issues, as we know that the uh, love jihad, the Garu Apasi, then uh, transborder migration, uh, cows being taken there to the other side of the border, and uh, added to that uh, new thing that what we find in Bengal now is uh, even the uh, uh, Muslim girls, when they marry somebody Hindu, it is now that they, they facilitate this marriage. This is reverse of Varwapasi, you can say. And the couple is given protection by these forces, the Hindu communal forces, and subsequently converted to Hinduism. And uh, of that, uh, the Vishwa Hindu Parishad leader, Ashok Singhal, um, were there. I made a trip to Bengal and uh, the Chief Minister promulgated 144 in all the districts in Bengal. The difference uh, between this regime and the left hand government is that during the left hand government regime, none of the communal forces could raise their head in the incidents of order of Indira Gandhi, the anti-Sikh riots, and the riot following Babri Masjid incident could not uh, be, I could not uh, 
happened in Bengal because the left front was there. These forces were afraid of the government then, and now the situation has changed. The government is afraid of uh, these forces apparently, but actually the forces uh, are these forces. Uh, I mean, raising their head helps the other communal forces. I mean the Hindu communal forces, well in the minority communal forces and the minority communal forces, um, also helping the Hindu communal forces, I mean quelling each other, that is how the situation in Bengal uh, now as an element of communal polarization that only helps the ruling party of the state and the ruling class of our country as a whole. The left has been fighting it, uh, I mean, it's a multi-pronged battle, multi-dimensional battle. It is ideological, it is political, it is cultural, and uh, most important of it is the intensification of the class struggle, of the struggle of the working people, and of the neoliberal policies and policies pursued by the state government and also integrating with it the struggle against uh, social discriminations and uh, the caste and gender discrimination that we believe that uh, forms the foundation of the men's struggle against all sorts of communal forces along with the policies pursued by the anti-people neoliberal economic policies pursued by the central government and partly also in support of the state government.